Looniform Guy here, and this is the Voltra T234WR edition by The Lort on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Fox Farm for this demonstration and test of this little Voltra, and um, it is 21.9 megabytes to download, 20 slots on console. We'll find that are vehicles and medium tractors. And there it is, $215,000 uh, to purchase the base model. 250 horsepower, that's the only option you get with that. We'll look at that in a minute. Manual power shift transmission, 380 liters of fuel. Yes, 80 miles per hour top speed or uh, 130 kilometers per hour, 7.3 tons. Yes, we'll talk about this in a little bit uh, more detail. Uh, shortly, we uh, look at the configurations, wheel brands, Trailborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vertistein, Nokian, and Trailborg. Trailborg, we have standard, weights, rear twins, twins all around, narrows, and standard. And this is something that occurs with every, so there isn't any difference between any of these brands, except... We're just seeing the same there. Nokian. So Nokian, we have the standard. We have standard two and standard. So yeah, two choices here. That's really the only one that doesn't have all the other options. So twin wheels all around, $11,000. Sticker. No or yes. We have the, uh, the North Proof, Proof by Nokian Tires. I don't know why that's hard to say. Um, fastest tractor. Yes, we will talk about that in a moment. Carpet, no or yes. If we go with uh, no, we can change the color of the floor. We'll look at that in a min minute. Horn, no or yes. That's on the top there. Warning signs. Headlight. We get extra lights on the top of the roof there. Cabin floor color. We have all, well, we have a number of Voltra colors. Voltra blue 2, Voltra gray, uh, oh, they call that blue again. Gold, green, orange, red, yellow, and then we're into the Giants. Uh, $1,000 if you pick a Giants palette, or uh, $250 if you choose some... Um, the custom colors rim color again we have all the uh, custom colors that's uh, orange even 250 oh okay so the blue is no charge blue 2 250 250 so 250 for custom colors except for the blue for some reason and a thousand dollars if you want to go with the Giants palette and license plate as you can see top center top rear center oh there's a north proof up there sticker on the roof and on the exhaust uh, shield there's the other license plate so standard equipment is front three-point link beacons rear three-point link and um, yeah so yeah, 250 horsepower, standard horsepower. So, what is this? Why 80, 80 miles per hour, 130 kilometers per hour? Well, if you remember this from Farm Sim 19, this was an, um, a special edition Voltra that they made for some kind of competition. I don't remember the details, but it is an actual, it is an actual tractor. So, this is a representation of a real life tractor believe it or not yes 80 mile per hour top speed if we get in and inside let's start it up there's our orange floor if we had a carpet the carpet would be gray and you just see a little bit of an outline of the orange floor sounds good horn uh, if we gump Gump, jump back inside L1 and R1 and right stick up and down. You can open and close that sunroof like so. And that's really all there is to it, except for 
You can change the driving direction on this, L1 and R1, X. The stickers are actually kind of in the way. There we go. And now, like many Voltras, you can drive it in the other direction. However, backwards you can only go, or well, now we were going forwards, 13 miles per hour. Reverse speed is now the 80 miles per hour. So, but, well, it is what it is. Now let's go take it for a spin and then we'll talk about performance in the field. So being a standard, basically standard power shift transmission, it does get going fairly quickly. And actually drives a little better with the single tires than the twin. The twin wheels seem to give a lot more resistance. But as you can see, we do not get up to top speed very quickly. It is getting up there eventually, but let's see what happens when we try to turn sharply. Oh, okay. We don't flip over, so that's good. But we lose a lot of speed uh, turning. It scrubs a lot of speed off. And as we go up here, let's see if we can get... <laughs> see if we have enough map. Uh, this is a, just a standard console 2X map. And I'm not even sure we're going to make possibly, yes, there we go. We made 80, 81 miles per hour in a, uh, in a 2X map. So that's, uh, but if we're turn, trying to turn around, yeah, we're losing massive amounts of speed. But it doesn't tip over, so that's nice. Right, so there, there's the, uh, there is that. Uh, horn, did I? Yeah, horn's pretty normal. Um, oh, lights. Extra lights are nice. It doesn't have 360 lighting, but of course, um, yeah, it's 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 really a, a prototype, I guess. Not really even a prototype, because they're not going to make these commercially available. It's It was just so they could say they w were the fastest tractor well, fastest tractor, I guess, somehow, or some kind of some kind of record they were going for. But it's interesting. It's kind of cool to have in the game being being an actual representation of an actual tractor is kind of neat. Right. So we're going to leave this one, and we're going to go over to here. Here I have a, I, I have it working as an actual tractor. Yes, it does operate quite well. It is uh, pulling this cultivator, 250 horsepower rated cultivator, quite nicely long at 9 miles per hour, no problems whatsoever. And it's been doing this for a little while, so that's nice. And in case you were wondering, I have this one fitted with a drawbar. Uh, and so, as you can see, it is going a bit faster than standard speed for this p this particular piece of equipment which is i think um nine miles per hour so it is going quite a bit faster however nowhere near the 80 miles per hour well that um you can without pulling something so is this a neat piece of machinery yes is this uh is this could this be useful on your farm yes indeed it could be useful on your farm will it go at extreme speeds um yes but not um not if you're working anything in a field perhaps if you're using a much smaller piece of equipment say something that only required maybe 50 horsepower or 30 horsepower to pull like a, a really small cultivator or something like that um, possibly so we're gonna just stop that and we're gonna drop that um, and here just we're gonna just drive around this one with the twin wheels as you can see it is a little bit more sluggish in the uh, acceleration department I think the twin wheels are giving it although once you get on tarmac it's 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 better and the steering the turning is still slides quite a bit so 
it is quite stable. You're not going to be worried. I wouldn't worry about tipping over excessively or rolling over as some, um, but uh, the, the wheel traction is, uh, the, in order for that to occur, you have to make the traction on the tires kind of slippery so that it doesn't grab and flip you over when you're at speed. So I guess there's a give and take there. But anyways, um, nice little piece of tractor. Uh, that's the Voltra T234 WR Edition by the Lort on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.